What is up everybody? Elijah here from Hoosier Pools. Thank you so much for joining me on the channel. I'm glad that you're here. I am super excited today because we are going to be opening one of my favorite releases of the year and that is Panini Select wrestling. I cannot wait. We got a hobby box to open and review for you guys, but I wanted to let you know that Hoosier Pools has official channel merchandise available right now. I have stickers as well as t-shirts and you can get them through Sticker Mule. I have the links in the description. If you want to rep the channel and support me, I would truly appreciate it. Also, for channel members, you are going to get a free Hoosier Pools channel sticker just for being a member. And if you want to know how to become a member, then click the Become a Member link in the description as well. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I truly appreciate it. All right, everybody, if you're new to WWE Select or just new to collecting in general, here are a few need to know points that'll help you get better acquainted with this set. All right, so WWE Select is comprised of a 300 card base set that is broken up into three separate tiers known as Concourse, Premier, and Ringside. Concourse is the least rare and Ringside is the most rare. We are gonna be looking for the color wheel case hits, Zebra Prisms, and the tie-dye super short prints numbered to 25. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, everybody, here we go. 2024 Select Hobby. It says find two autos and one memorabilia card. There are five cards per pack, 12 packs per box. Here are all the inserts if you want to pause and take a look, but let's get right into this. I am so excited. I got this box from Dave and Adams. Um, they shipped it two days ago. Um, so really, really happy with the timing of the shipping got here on release day and I couldn't be more happy for this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this again. Thanks so much for watching. You, if you enjoy my content, please consider liking and subscribing. So let's go ahead and take a first look at this. So this is going to be our concourse. This is the basic design. You can see right here, it says concourse. So we're going to go uh, slowly through the first couple packs just to, you know, get a good feel for the design. So far, I'm really, really liking it. We got Kane, Molly Holly. We have a Wesley. Now, this is going to be the premiere. Let me know what you think about this design. I kind of like it, but there's also a lot of dead space right here. Um, so I'm not sure how I completely feel about that. And then here is the and new insert of Lig Liv Morgan that is a silver. And then we have a silver Meechin of Concourse. So we'll put our silvers over here. I am really excited. This, this set seems awesome. The checklist seems awesome. Again, we're looking for those super short print parallels like the zebra, the color wheel. We got the American Dream Dusty Roads. That's sweet. Carlito Roman Reigns in the Premier. That is a sweet card. Looks like we have a rookie. Okay, so our first rookie auto is really good. That is Kalani Jordan. And then we have a Harley Race Silver. So first auto, really solid. Kalani Jordan is one of the top stars um, in the NXT women's division. Um, she's probably going to get called up very soon. So definitely we'll take that. I thought it was a gold for a second, but it is the NXT colors. So that is really good. I'm already really happy with that. So pretty solid first autograph. And like I said, these run, um, these released on Panini's website at like 225. Um, so they are more expensive this year. Uh, the last couple of years, I believe they've been around 200. So let's get into this. Let's pull some nice numbered stuff. Here's Razor Ramon, Brett the Hitman Hart, and the photography is really, really good. Here's Nikita Lyons in the premiere. Mankind is going to be our silver. And I believe this is concourse and then we have a numbered lexus king so that is pretty cool and so this is this year's phenomenon that looks pretty cool and then lexus king in the 
blue numbered to 199. We'll go ahead and sleeve him up. All right, so like I said, uh, let me know if you're planning on picking any of this up. Let me know what your initial thoughts are on this. Um, I never thought that I would say this in a million years, but Panini has absolutely crushed it with WWE. I'm really sad that they're uh, going to be losing the license. Um, here's John Cena. We have Triple H. That's a great shot of the game with the sledgehammer. We have a tie-dye and new China out of 25, and then Tama Tonga Silver. So this one is going to be 17 out of 25. That is really cool. Um, so, so far we've hit a really solid rookie auto. Um, a blue out of 199 and then this and new China out of 25. So this, I mean, these boxes seem really, really good so far. I haven't been able to see a huge... Um, sample size, you know, open yet because it's so new. Um, I've seen some of the FOTL, but here we go. It looks like we got our memorabilia card in here. Here is Adriana Rizzo, member of the Don's family. We have Angelo Dawkins, Jade Cargill. That's a nice one. Yeah, I just, I'm not sure how I feel about all of this space right here. I, I kind of like the design though. It's kind of growing on me. And then we have a Selective Swatches, Piper Niven. You can also get uh, autographs of these. And then we have a Freddy Blassie. So our Selective Swatches is going to be Piper Niven. Um, not too, I mean, this is like really small. It's a really, really small little relic. But um, I mean, so far, can't really complain. We still have a decent amount of packs left. We still have uh, one more autograph. So we will see what we can hit. We have Jasmine Nix from NXT. It's going to be her first uh, appearance in a rookie card. Howard Finkel. We have Don Morocco, legend. Turbocharged, Jay Uso. The Turbocharged always looks really cool. They have these in the tie-dye as well. And then our tricolor is going to be Damian Priest. So there is a lot of different um, designs and it parallels and everything, but this is kind of how Select is. I really like it. I'm a fan of all the parallels. I think it's really you know, unique to the set. There are also some really interesting looking die cuts in here as well. We have Shotzi. Rhea Ripley, that's a great shot right there. Asuka, there's rumors that she's not coming back, which that'll be interesting to see how that goes. We got Turbocharge, Braun Breaker, and then another tricolor, and that is going to be the British Bulldog. So, no more numbered yet. But like I said, unless we get Panini'd, we should be able to expect another autograph. All right, we got Thea Hale. She's definitely uh, kind of come into her own character, which is cool. Tommaso Ciampa, that is one of my personal favorites. One half of DIY. Then we have Rhea Ripley. Is As you can see, this is a different design than the concourse, so there's going to be different pictures there. And then we have a Sensations of Austin Theory, and these look great. Honestly, these look really, really great. So I'm a big fan of those. And then another Austin Theory in the blue. I believe this is to 199. This is going to be to 249. So the blue concourse and the blue premiere have different numberings. So we'll have to uh, to remember that. Austin Theory has always kind of haunted me throughout all the WWE releases. He seems to like follow me everywhere. I really, really liked him as a member of The Way. Um, but I haven't been a huge fan of his like main roster run. Uh, we got Sonya Deville, Triple H. So there is the, the, the concourse picture for Triple H. We got Big E. This is going to be the ringside. This is the most rare. We have The Rock in the Phenomenon. So this is ringside. This, this might be my favorite uh, design right here. So we got ringside, The Rock, and then is this another tie-dye? No way. 
dude, no way. Two tie dyes in one box. The Undertaker, the Undertaker, you know, is such a amazing, you know, piece of like everyone's childhood who got to watch him growing up. That is insane. Two tie dyes. That is insane. I am super happy with this box. Our WWE luck just continues to be insane. I have my Roman Reigns Color Blast on the way back from PSA. So we'll see, uh, hopefully here in a little bit um, down the road, we'll do a blind reveal. We got Rey Mysterio, one of my favorites growing up. Tyler Breeze. We have superstar Billy Graham, actually just passed away. Here is B-Fab, so this is going to be our second auto. B-Fab kind of levels out, and then a uh, um, silver Tyler Breeze. So this is not going to be numbered. It looks like it is, but it's just the colors of the SmackDown logo. So uh, Panini definitely made sure to uh, to remind us that uh, they're, they're still in charge with the B-Fab auto. But honestly, this, this has been an awesome box. I cannot complain. Again, let me let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of the prices. If you're gonna wait to see if this you know goes down at all, here we have Meechin, Dragon Lee from the LWO. Here's Shinsuke Nakamura in the ringside. He is he's always been one of my favorites. Bailey in the Phenomenon. That's a great looking card, and a purple Drew McIntyre. So Drew McIntyre, uh, his feud with CM Punk was amazing. It was absolutely incredible. And I am running out of stands. All right, we got Undertaker front and center with the bang stand, courtesy of my good friend Houdini Sports. All right, here we go, last pack. This was awesome. I had an absolute blast. All right, so we got Freddie Blassie in the concourse, Harley Race, The Miz, here is and new, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, and we have a tricolor of the Ultimate Warrior. So let's go ahead and recap really quick. All right, everyone, so we hit quite a bit of base as expected. We got three of the tricolor prisms. Here is our stack of uh, silver prisms and inserts. Um, these were pretty abundant. We only hit two of the ringside, so these are going to be super rare, um, which is kind of nice to see. And then our two autos were the B-Fab and this Kalani Jordan, which was by far the best of the two. And we hit quite a few numbered cards, which is also really nice. We have Lexus King. This is the premier numbered two. 199 and then this Austin Theory Concourse to 249. We got this Drew McIntyre Purple Premier to 99. And then the two best numbered cards were the and new tie dye China out of 25. And then the Undertaker Premier also out of 25. I had an absolute blast. Let me know what you guys think of this. As always, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.